financing is crucial to achieving the Sustainable Development Goals of Agenda 2030. Africa's annual financing gap to accomplish this is around $200 billion and according to a 2015 report by the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, some $50 billion illicitly leave the continent every year, though this estimate is not based on the statistical framework later on developed by the UN system. With these large flows of money leaving countries, less resources are available for sustainable development and human development. And without reliable statistics on IFFs, there is high uncertainty about the size of these flows, their origins and destinations and impact. In 2011, a high-level panel on illicit financial flows was established, led by former South African President Thabo Mbeki. The panel's findings were presented in 2015, and it was recommended that potential methodologies for addressing IFFs should be studied. We must indeed achieve the objective of stopping the bleeding of retaining these resources on the continent, which are illicitly flowing out of the continent. In 2018, the UN Conference on Trade and Development and the UN Economic Commission for Africa, with support from the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, launched a project to define, estimate and disseminate statistics on illicit financial flows in Africa. L'objectif principal du projet est de contribuer au renforcement des capacités statistiques des agences nationales dans les pays pilotes pour mesurer certains types de flux financiers illicites afin de rendre compte de l'agenda 2030 sur les objectifs de développement durable et plus précisément l'indicateur 16.4.1 pour soutenir les actions politiques visant à réduire les flux financiers illicites. The knowledge gained from this pilot exercise uh, will help to inform and also to refine the current concepts, the methods and the statistical tools, which is very important. IFFs are a hidden phenomenon that is complex by nature, and so defining the concepts was the first step. The UNCTAD UNODC Task Force on the Statistical Measurement of IFFs developed this definition. IFFs are financial flows that are illicit in origin, transfer or use, that reflect an exchange of value and that cross country borders. This was endorsed by the Interagency and Expert Group on SDG Indicators in October 2019 and the UN Statistical Commission in March 2020. This was a joint process where, as custodians of Indicators 16.4.1, UNCTAD led work on trade and tax-related IFFs and UNODC on crime-related IFFs. We will be focusing on countries that selected or are willing to measure and find relevant to measure illicit financial flows from criminal activities such as drug trafficking, trafficking personal wildlife trafficking or illegal mining in their country. سيوفر هذا المشروع القدرات اللازمة للحد من التدفقات المالية غير المشروعة بما في ذلك تجارة السلع والخدمات غير المشروعة والتهرب الضريبي والتلاعب بالفواتير التجارية المفتعلة وتحويل الأرباح إلى آخره Through the, the piloting process being able actually to quantify uh, the magnitude of losses that the country can have through IFFS will, will definitely open eyes to, to, to the global scene. I think it is important to know that illicit financial flows are a global phenomenon. Currently, there are um, multiple countries in Africa, but also in Asia, in Latin America, also in Europe, pilot testing the methodologies. Inter-country collaboration or intra-country collaboration is probably one of the key levers in trying to address illicit financial flows. We need to look at you know, inter-country data as a way of collaborating or corroborating or verifying the information that we're gathering. Countries need to work with other countries where IFFs are, for instance, destined to, or even transitioning through, so that this data can be brought together, triangulated, while we are compiling the final statistics of IFFs from each country. This exercise is showing that even for difficult, very challenging uh, activities, we can produce uh, good data. If we are not able to measure whether there is a change, whether there is a, as we hope, a decrease, uh, we are not able to say whether the policies that are being put in place are effective or not. Illicit financial flows are not just drainers of financial resources. 
The phenomena is a compromise of good governance, strong institutions, and accountability that are fundamental for ensuring a sustainable, inclusive, and equitable development for all. The lost opportunities are not merely financial. It's too important to not act on the means to prevent it. To join the global statistical move to measure illicit financial flows, visit stats.angtad.org forward slash IFFs or unodc.org.